Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I rebuild my Shoei Neotech. This helmet dates back to 2013, so it's about nine years old. And I've uh, gone through and washed the padding and, and done a number of things over the years. But uh, I think it's time for a major refresh. So, so I'm going to show you a lot of the components I bought, what I do to clean it, and uh, hopefully try to give it a really nice refresh because I really like this helmet. But first, let's roll the intro. <laughs> it's too cold in the early morning. So like I mentioned, uh, my Shoei Neotech I bought from Amazon back in 2013. This, this helmet, I think at the time, was about $590 on Amazon. Uh, in comparison, I bought Roxy's Neotech 2 a couple of years ago, and, and these things are going for about $750. So with that helmet being so old, I decided to buy uh, a lot of replacement parts and rebuild this helmet. I really like this helmet, and uh, it served me well. So hopefully when I complete it, it'll be refreshed and, and uh, serve me for many more years. So there's a number of things I want to replace on the helmet. So let me show you some of the parts that, uh, that I purchased. So I bought a new set of cheek pads. These are showy replacement parts. The cheek pads on this helmet, uh, when it was brand new, they come with what they consider 35 millimeter cheek pads. These things just squeeze in really tight. Uh, various people call it a uh, chipmunk face or uh, uh, just re just forces you to pucker your face. It gets very uncomfortable. Uh, I basically had to live through that for quite some time. Uh, eventually it became comfortable for me. This is an XL size and uh, all of these helmets come with 35 millimeter cheek pads except for when you get up to maybe a double XL helmet. So. Uh, as it turns out, I bought 31 millimeter uh, cheek pads, so they should be a little bit more narrow and hopefully more comfortable. But in reality, uh, I couldn't find uh, replacement 35 millimeter pads to buy. So again, this helmet's no longer sold. Uh, I haven't been able to find it anywhere, so it's been replaced by the Neotech 2. Um, we're also going to replace the, the shield. I bought a new shield for it. Uh, this one has the pin lock inside. Uh, I'm going to check to see if I need to replace that, but later. Uh, one thing I did not buy and I don't plan to is the, the sunshade portion here. Uh, it generally, I clean it quite well. It's not scratched, uh, so I don't intend to replace that portion. So other things I'm going to be replacing on this helmet, uh, I bought... I bought some new strap covers here. So these are padded pieces and again I've taken all this padding out uh, over the years. I've washed it, soapy water, uh, let it dry, replaced it. And so again after nine years I think it's time for something new. So these are new uh, strap padded covers here, right here. Um, We've got one thing I did decide to upgrade uh, that's not currently on my Neotech, but does come on the Shoei Neotech 2, is a different type of latching system for the chin strap. Um, this is a, uh, if I'll show you the Neotech 2 here, the Roxy helmet, it's got uh, this type of ratcheting style uh, connection strap. So I bought something like this in order to convert my D-ring, uh, dual double D-ring style to the same type that the Neotech 2 has. Locking chin strap mechanism uh, that comes on the Neotech 2. Um, also bought the top head pad uh, replacement that goes in the top of the helmet. Um, again, it's readily available and, and still purchasable on Amazon for, for Showy products. Showy has their own store on Amazon, so you can look at a lot of their parts. But for these modular helmets, the parts are becoming a little harder to come by. Okay, so, so this is the new uh, padding goes in the top of the helmet. 
uh, from Showy again replacement parts. I'm going to install that. And so I think that's all the parts I have. Again, the other thing I might do is I'm going to clean this thing. Um, I've got, uh, I may have to take a look and re reattach uh, some of my uh, Cena components on the inside. Now this is the Harley brand because I needed it for my uh, Harley style. It's the Harley logoed Cena uh, headset that we bought so that we could use our wireless uh, capability with the, with the Harley um, inter infotainment system. Okay, so let's get started on some of this replacement work. All right, so the first thing we'll do is probably pop out these cheek pads. Uh, they, they are installed with little uh, white snaps. There's three white snaps here, so they come out quite easily. They... The other thing too is they come back here on the bottom and they, they slide in and snap in place on the back of the helmet. And these just come out. And so now as far as the, the, the top padding that comes in the head, this piece, um, start in the back here and pop this out. Again, the same little white type snaps. Looks like I'm going to need my glasses. Again, the front just pops off a little snaps and then that's the uh, the old top cushion portion of the helmet so again it's been washed multiple times you can see the the logo is quite worn out so uh, I'm sure I'm due for new equipment there and inside you can see uh, you know it's still quite intact so these chin strap pads they have little snaps on the outside and again they just pop that snap off and then these just slide off. Okay, so that is all the padding on the inside of the helmet and on the straps. So at this point, I'm going to just inspect and uh, do some cleanup on this one. Um, I'm probably, you can imagine this top vent here nine years of dust and bugs and dirt and uh, so there's no telling how nasty this thing is so I'm gonna take a screwdriver and pop this top vent off and do some cleaning there and just do some overall cleaning um, I can go ahead and can go ahead and pop uh, this front screen off while I'm at it there's a little spring-loaded part here that you just pull down on that releases the little piece uh, that allows that just to pop out and likewise we'll do the other side again we'll just pull that spring loaded piece out and then this piece just pops out okay so that's the old uh, windshield now I have replaced this once before uh, these are you know fifty sixty dollars so I hate to so I'll be putting in the second one in the life of nine years again this thing's quite grody so those are all the old parts, windshield, pin lock, cheek pads, um, and the straps, uh, strap pads. Let's take a small screwdriver and see about popping this uh, top cover off, and uh, we'll see how grody it looks. It's pretty well scratched up, but there's no need me trying to add to those scratches, so I'm going to use a little uh, putty knife to try to pry that piece up and pop it off. And again, try not to introduce any more scratches than are already there. Okay, so there we go, we just pop that out. And I don't know if you can see this, but you can see that's nine years of dirt in this vent here. So I'm surprised I get any breeze through these holes at all. So we'll clean that up. 
Uh, I just went in and got some cleaning products and as you can see I just kept pulling uh, these Lysol uh, disinfectant type wet wipes. Kept pulling these and kept cleaning and cleaning until they started to look a little whiter than more white than black. So I got it cleaned up pretty well. Uh, did some buffing on the inside, outside. Uh, tried to uh, clean it up, uh, get it prepped. Uh, as I was doing that, I did a few more things. I pulled off this little uh, guard that goes on the front here. Uh, the chin guard, uh, chin curtain, I didn't take it off, but I did clean it quite well. Um, did clean a lot of the dirt out of these vents and so forth. Um, so I think I've got it pretty well prepared to put back together. You know, as I, as I was going through here, uh, I was looking at my Cena setup, and what I did was uh, cleaned up the Velcro and uh, just put some new adhesive and put my uh, ear pieces back in. Uh, the one good thing about the, the showy helmets is they already put a little recessed area in here uh, to allow for uh, your, your ear speakers uh, to go in. So they're already recessed so you don't have them out there pushing against your ear. So that's one good thing about, uh, well probably most all the helmets that are coming out these days, they all are prepared to, to do some type of uh, a Bluetooth communication system. So, uh, you know, I appreciate that. Uh, so I was able to get those back in. The other thing I did was, you know, with a modular helmet, the front coming up and down so much, a lot of times this little boom mic can get caught out here. And over time, you continually wear into that uh, flexible piece of the, of the microphone. And so I kind of secured that on the inside, put a little Gorilla Tape there. And then when the cheek pad goes in, it'll go over and cover that and snap it. Now on Roxy's helmet, uh, it already had, uh, it already anticipated a microphone or a boom mic, so it's already got a recessed slot in the side here. So that's one of the many improvements on this Neotech 2. So, so I resecured my microphone in here, and so now we'll just put it back together. Um, piece by piece and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in this uh, little uh, vent uh, nose guard on the front I'll uh, go ahead and pop this vent back on the top and it just pops back in the same way it came out There. Let's pop just it just kind of press the snaps back in and then it just moves forward and backward to open the vents. So one of the things I was going to show here is I've started out over the years, probably 10, 12 years ago, with the Cena products. And you know, back before I even had modular, I had showy helmets up here that were full face but not the modular style. Started out with this SMH10 uh, dual setup. Uh, it served well. Um, I, you know, over time I started to hear a little crackly in the sound. I didn't think it was very good, so I decided to upgrade a number of years ago to this 20S. Again, the other thing I did for motor vlogging uh, is I had the little Cena backpack uh, Bluetooth device that connects to the GoPro, and that worked relatively well, but it was kind of intermittent. Uh, sometimes it would work, sometimes I couldn't communicate, but the goal was to have dual vlogging capability so we both could. Uh, communicate with each other as well as record both our voices and if you go back to some of my uh, videos in India uh, on our Royal Enfield uh, you'll hear some of that uh, dual vlogging with that particular setup uh, I think going forward I'm looking at uh, upgrading to a different style GoPro right now I'm you know filming on my Hero 4 but I'm looking to upgrade I've compared a few of those I may uh, go with a different style uh, motor vlogging setup so that we can get uh, uh, dual vlogging and get uh, a much better sound. So uh, eventually when I bought the, the 2020 uh, Limited, you know, we had to put the, the module uh, in the fr inside the front fairing. It didn't come with it. I think the CVOs come with it, but this module allows me to use Bluetooth communicator capability and to get uh, uh, dual sound. Uh, so I had to bite the bullet and buy the Harley brand, and this is the, the 30K. This allows me to communicate directly with the Harley infotainment system. Uh, that has more functionality. The other thing is it gives me uh, Apple CarPlay on my display on the Harley. So uh, again, I had to pay the Harley tax, 
uh, bite the bullet and spend the money uh, so that I could have that functionality. I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this now. So those are the cheek pads, the upper uh, pad that goes in the top of the helmet. Placement piece. So we'll put that in. I'll put this uh, latching piece that matches what's on Roxy's helmet, uh, the new uh, chin strap, uh, quick detach and ratchet style. And then we'll put on these uh, new pads here on the straps here at the end. So we'll do that part as well. And then it just lays down flat, and then we'll snap it in place on the front. So there's four little snaps on the front to secure it in place. There we go. So that's secure there. We got those four snaps in place, and there's little tabs that line it up so that it's centered on the helmet. Now we'll just put in the cheek pads. And so the way to secure it is this has a little hook piece. So we will press it down in here first. I've got to keep my wires out of the way so it doesn't interfere. Uh, the wires for the Cena headset there. So we've got to kind of negotiate this piece in. And you'll see a slotted piece right here that this has to slide into. So one of the things we had to do is, is we've got to negotiate around the Cena headset and still get these tabs in and secure something I've decided to do while I've got the helmet disassembled is I'm going to change out this boom mic uh, to match what I've got on Roxy's helmet here. Um, basically, there's a boom mic that will allow me to just attach the wire and the wire can fit up through this internal padding much easier than the boom mic itself. And then I can attach and run the boom mic in between the cheek pad and the, uh, the hard surface of the helmet itself. So, uh, as I was saying before, what's, what's such, been such a challenge with this uh, over the past couple of years is I've been, as you moping this helmet up and down, uh, a lot of times this uh, boom mic will get caught, this boom mic will get caught in the latch and you'll continually scrub and, uh, you know, uh, scar into this uh, flexible part of the boom mic you know, just like so, you know, catch it in there. And so if I take it and replace it with this, this other boom mic that I've got in the, the packaging, uh, this, and so that way it will be, instead of out here, it will be integral to the inside of the helmet, as you see there. So I'm gonna do that right now. This, in, this video wasn't intended to show you how to install a Cena, but you know, while I've got this thing apart, if I'm gonna do it, it's time to go ahead and do it right now. All right, so now we'll just go ahead and snap the three snaps that hold this cheek pad in. Again, there's these little white snaps. And then that will sandwich this boom mic out of the way and keep it secure. Okay, so that gets the left side cheek pad in place. Okay, so let's put on this right side cheek pad. Again, we've got a little hook latch here and a little slot that allows us to get uh, pushed in and back so it will secure. And then another slot on the front with a tab to catch it. And then we'll go in and snap uh, the three white snaps on the inside as before. Okay, so that cheek pad's in. I think I'll go ahead and try to put on this uh, ratcheting uh, buckle. Now, I bought this off of Amazon. It's called the Helmet Shop. But if you look at this piece and you compare it straight to the Shoei 
it is absolutely identical. Now I can't do a chem chemical comparison of the plastic or the metal, but and there's a I think and there's a video out uh, that that this outfit uh, the helmet shop they've got a video on how to install this and I've uh, watched the video a couple of times so I'm gonna go ahead and start latching it. What I'll do is I'll link to that video uh, that the helmet shop puts out. Uh, in my comments. Okay, so I got that side put on and adjusted and so now I should be able just to I took a little bug slide here and cleaned the the sunshade portion that pops up and down. So to get this installed, what we're going to do is start on one side. And just in reverse order, we will take and pull down this piece, pop in the right side, and then we'll swing over and pop in the left side. Okay, so here we go with the right side, and then we'll do the same thing over here by pulling down the little spring-loaded lock. There we go. All right, okay, good deal. So now we've got that installed, and it's got a pretty good seal around the top. It's a little different seal than is it's these are not interchangeable shields on this uh, Neotech 2. It's got more of a, a lip that that seals the top probably much better than the Neotech. But uh, this gives us a nice new protectant. I think that just about concludes the refurbishment of this helmet. Um, I'm going to put it on and ride it and see how these cheek pads work. Uh, hopefully they're not as tight. If they are tight, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to let them break in. Um, yeah. I don't have any kind of Amazon account that allows me to uh, uh, benefit on sales of products, but I'm going to uh, list in the notes uh, the various parts that we replaced on this helmet, uh, the cost I paid for them. And you can use that as a gauge to see if it's something you want to do. Again, a, a new showy Neotech is $750. This, this is a nine-year-old helmet. You can't really buy this Neotech anymore. Uh, but uh, I've really enjoyed using it. And I'm looking forward to riding it uh, for a few more years. So it looks almost new on the inside, but it's certainly beat up on the outside. So y'all come get on the road and go with us.